The 90th running of the Geneva International Motor Show gets underway on March 3rd and organizers have confirmed over 90 world or European premieres. More than 150 exhibitors will be present, too, including all your favorite performance and luxury markets plus a number of newcomers. Approximately 700,000 visitors are expected to cross the floors of the various halls that make up Geneva's Pale Expo Convention Center. The Motor Authority team will also be covering the show to bring you the latest information and live photos. Hyundai's Prophecy Concept Better Make an Impact at Geneva Volvo's electric car sub-brand Polestar will be extending its model range over the next few years and the Precept Concept marks. The only hatchback Hyundai will be debuting at Geneva as the facelift i30. Mercedes-Benz popular mid-size sedan, the E-Class, is about to undergo a mid-cycle update and we'll get our first look at the refreshed model in Geneva. The new seat Leon will share its MQV underpinnings and engine range with a VW. Alpine A110 will unveil two limited edition versions of the A110 sports car along with the Sportstax styling exercise. The only hatchback Hyundai will be debuting at Geneva as the facelift i30. The iWiz U5 is one of a number of Chinese airs in development. It features a 190 HP electric motor with about 230 LVFT of torque. The biggest debut is the Audi A3. The A3 will be based on the same platform as the Golf. The new Toyota GR Yaris is a custom-built hot hatch that will be built in low numbers to help deliver WRC competition success. Chinter's new car, the Chinter 21C, will receive its world debut in Geneva. The Honda Civic Type R's mechanical revisions are more involved with new dampers tweak front suspension geometry. The fourth-generation Kia Sorento will make its public debut at Geneva after officially being revealed beforehand. The UX300E features the 54.3 kWh battery beneath the cabin floor to deliver a WLTP range of 186 miles. The BAC Mono is due to receive a second generation. The new Skoda Octavia will get its widest range of high-performance variants. Thank you for subscribe. The reborn Fisker Ocean has been in development for some time and has Echo credentials. Bentley is bringing a new coach-built car called the Backhauer to Geneva. That Porsche plans the release of a brand new Porsche 992 Turbo at this year's Geneva show. Cupra will unveil a production-ready version of the Fermenter Performance SUV at this year's show. The company's 90th anniversary celebration. It will show a special version of the Batista. Bugatti has confirmed that its 250th Chiron will be on display, the Bugatti Chiron Sport. Mercedes-Benz to complete the revamp of its entry-level models with a brand new GLA class. The GTV and the traditional red stripe going across the grille on the GDI. Porsche really has something special in the 718. The mid-engine sports car offers excellent weight distribution and good power. The new GLA is bigger than ever and will go up against the BMW X2 and Audi Q2. The Bentley Backhauer was announced a few weeks ago, in the form of a teaser image. The full design is set to debut next week. Koenigsegg is expected to unveil a special edition of the Jesco. The Lexus LF30 electrified concept is expected to make a European debut alongside the Japanese brand's first air. The UX300E, the reborn Hispano Suiza brand is set to launch its Carmen Balone special edition at Geneva this year. The 720s Spider and the 600 LT as debuts for McLaren. The Pagani Imola The Imola is Pagani's most extreme version of the Hoyer chassis yet. BMW's 4 Series will be its biggest release of the Geneva Motor Show 2020. Electric Hypercar Specialists, Remac, will display a production-ready version of the Remac C2. The Vega EVX hails from Sri Lanka, not the first place you might think to find an all-electric supercar. Thank you for watching.